things that, that I'd been working with in painting for a long time are landscape, uh, also um, a variation on it, the seascape, uh, la, la marine. Uh, the forces of nature were, th in my mind, thought of as kind of conflicting forces of, of nature, as in um, storms, uh, atmospheric conditions. Uh, the forces of nature could also be man-made or human-created forces which threaten our, the, the viability of the planet. They threaten human life and existence. They're constantly, technology gives us so much in our society, yet it's also got a dual um, threatening element to it. The idea of obsolescence and a society, a consumer society, you know, whether it's on a grand scale like um, a superpower's um, military infrastructure or um, those people that um, sell you stuff on the internet, everything is sort of created to be obsolete. And also, the, if in the paintings, the ships, the uh, summaries are sort of like architecture, but they're also things that obviously have been really sort of used and worn and ground down um, because they've sort of been on a constant, like a shark, circling around, circling around. But um, very much so, I think memory is something that comes into a lot of artists' work, mine in particular, and it comes from many different sources, um, a kind of collective memory that we, I think we have a society, you know, personal um, uh, memories. Uh, I, I even draw upon things. My father was a veteran of World War II. Um, my family, my wife's family, were all of that generation. Um, her mother was um, in the WAF, the Women's Royal Air Force, uh, and her father was in the RAF. Uh, so those are things, and we kind of grew up with, um, you know, stories of war. Um, for me, I don't really have something that I'm, ex you know, sp specifically heading for. Uh, but your question is a very good one because I sort of view these paintings, and I've been doing this for a long time in different variations. But I sort of view them ultimately as being positive rather than negative. They're not just showing a kind of um, destroyed landscape. Um, they're showing what would eventually be like a sort of very. Um, very sort of um, tenuous grasp on reclaiming the earth, reclaiming the area. So they've been conditioned by unknown forces, nature, um, human activity, uh, but ultimately, um, and I think it's somewhat conveyed by the, the palette, the, the sense of light and color in the work. So they kind of feel like they're rejuvenating slowly.